a classy guitar that will open many doors for you. I think some doors are better kept closed. All right, my friends, today we're gonna suffer together. If you're like me, you have your favorite guitar at home, the one that you simply can't stop playing and looking at. Maybe you also have your personal dream guitar that you're looking at every single day on the internet. So if you love guitars, I'm warning you, what I'm showing you today might really shock you. We're about to check out some of the worst guitar design fails of all time. But to make this a bit more challenging and entertaining, I will actually attempt to fix some of them in Photoshop. So potentially making them even worse. So to start things off, the one that I was really surprised to see when I asked my Patreon community about this is this one that everybody's talking about right now. That is of course Steve Vai's new Hydra guitar and I actually think it's kind of cool. I guess the main complaint with this one is that there's way too much going on. So let's see how it looks like when we make a more simplistic version of this guitar. So I'm doing this really quick. We have a lot of guitars to look at. I feel kind of bad for doing this because so much love and attention to detail went into this guitar. There are so many details on the headstock as well. 20 minutes later. All right, I spent way too much time on this one already. This is the original Hydro design and this is what I did. So since a lot of people keep saying that there's way too much going on on this instrument, I was just excited to see and to try out how it would look like if there's a bit less going on. Some other comments that I was reading said that there's too much going on color-wise. So let's see how it would look like if it was just red, for example. Yeah, it looks kind of cool, just in red or also in blue, actually. So let us know in the comments which variation you prefer. Once again, as you might know, I'm all for crazy and unique looking guitars. And I think Steve can definitely pull it off. And he wrote an amazing song for this instrument. All right, up next, we have the legendary reverse Gibson guitars. So this reverse Explorer was posted by Lawrence in our Patreon VIP Facebook group. He says that he never worked out if it's just an April Fool's joke or if this is an actual guitar. I don't even think that the body shape is the main problem right here. I think the headstock is not optimal. But as far as photoshopping this goes, I think this is gonna be quite easy because what happens when we just flip it like this? Yeah. Now it looks like a regular Explorer. Fixed it for you. Great success. But I really can't live with that headstock. I wonder how you actually tune this guitar. So yeah, let's just add a regular Explorer headstock on there. Yeah, I guess that works. So this is how you fix a reverse Gibson Explorer. You just flip it and turn it around again. One thing that's a bit harder to fix and I'm not sure what they were thinking with this one. I got nothing. So yeah, that is the really special looking <laughs> reverse Flying V guitar. I will try really hard to find something positive to say about this one. I guess the idea is kind of cool on paper to have a guitar body that looks exactly like the headstock, but that's all I can think of. It really just doesn't look right. Let's see what happens when we take these parts, the wings, so to say, and we just reverse them back to normal. I'm sorry. Okay, this is a, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, I think I just created a new guitar shape. As you can see, that's the Flying Z guitar. I think I might hit up the guys at Ibanez after finishing this video. What do you guys and girls think about the Bernd's Ibanez Flying Z signature guitar? Make it happen. So yeah, I don't think that we fixed it yet. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we flip the other wing as well. So yeah, it starts to look like a flying V, obviously again, but you have that weird thing right here. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to get rid of that one. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something cool about the V guitar shape, I guess. Before I got my deal with Ibanez when I was still playing for Belfagor, I also played different flying V guitars, so I'm feeling kind of nostalgic right now. I think they're really cool for metal, of course. But as you know, in recent years, I went for the Super Strat shape, mainly because it's very comfortable when you have to play guitar all day. And I also like how you can play pretty much any style of music with these guitars. Up next, we have one that Luke posted into the Patreon VIP Facebook group. Where do you guys find these guitars? He says, I love Billy Gibbons the guitar player from CZ Top, but wow. Okay, so I mean, I've never seen something like this before. So I guess you could say it's unique. You could have a little nap on stage during the drum or bass solo. And it does look kind of comfortable, to be honest. As you probably know, I really love my Ibanez SHRG 1C guitar. This one is covered in zinc, in literal metal. Maybe I can dedicate a video just to this guitar at some point. But the thing is, I really like to practice early in the morning at 4.30 a.m. And in winter, when it's getting cold, this guitar is also very cold. In fact, it's very cold right now when I touch it like this. So maybe there are some benefits to this one after all. What I definitely love the most about it is the headstock with those tuners. So you probably guessed it already. The only way of making this one even more epic 
obviously it has to be a reverse fluffy pillow guitar. By the way, another very common design flaw I would like to hear your opinion about is the placement of the volume or tone knobs. That's pretty much the only thing that I would change about my current main guitar that I'm using live and in the studio. I never really understood why Ibanez have to place them so close to the picking hand. I guess it's for quick access when you're playing, but for some picking styles it's simply in the way. So when they finally give me my signature, I would place it somewhere else. So another design that gets featured quite often on lists like this is that one. That's of course the Abasi Larada guitar. And once again I have to say, I think it's actually really cool. To me it perfectly fits what it's doing musically. I guess what most people don't like about this one is that area right here. I never played one of these actually and I wonder what it's like to play with that big chunk of wood above the neck. So just for fun let's see what it would actually look like without that part. Okay, so I don't think I'm improving this guitar at all. Uh, I'm not convinced about this. Yeah, that's not working. But what if we take this part instead and move it up? Yeah, that starts to look like something a bit more traditional immediately. Yeah, I don't know. That's my take on a more conventional Abasi guitar, I'd say. Tosin, if you're watching this, please don't kill me. I really like the new album. So I'd love to hear what you think about this one as well. Do you actually prefer something like this? Or are you like me and you also kind of enjoy the new futuristic style of these instruments? Okay, now we're moving to the really interesting stuff once again. This one is from Roman Guitars in Las Vegas it seems and my first thought is it kind of looks like a fantasy weapon from a video game. I think you don't want to get hit in the head with that one but if I would own a guitar like this I would be extremely stressed. I remember it from my early Flying V and VC Rich Warlock guitars. If you just put it on the ground once or you walk against the door or something like that the paint finish on the edges breaks and it looks terrible and you got quite a lot of problem areas with this one and of course the thing that stresses me out the most when I look at this instrument is this part right here that really looks like it could break at any second so why don't we just get rid of it and see what the guitar looks like also the headstock is really crazy maybe a bit smaller yeah doesn't look too bad that looks a little bit safer doesn't make me that nervous anymore but when it comes to those pointy guitars i personally always liked flying v's the most so i think something like this would work a little bit better for me at least so if i would play crazy pointy guitar again i think it would look more like this and it's actually kind of cool with those additional edges so let me know which one you prefer i might have fixed this one actually it doesn't look that bad and now it's time for the highlight of this video like i promised in the beginning you will be shocked when you watch this video until the end there is one monstrosity that i found that can't be fixed this one was posted in the patreon vip facebook group once again and i always check that one in the morning and i'm not exaggerating when i saw this one i almost spilled my coffee all over my workplace i can't believe that somebody made this and that a guitar like this exists ladies and gentlemen get ready for the wang caster what were they thinking with this one? Why would you make something like this? Actually making a guitar is so much work and out of millions of different options of what you could do with that piece of wood, they thought, let's make a wang caster. So the only way of fixing this guitar is basically just censoring it, at least the wang parts, I guess. <laughs> that is the only fix that I can think of for this instrument. So thanks too much to Balash for posting this one in the group. Naturally, when I saw this monstrosity, I had to do some more research and I found this ad on Craigslist. So from looking at this guitar you can tell that the people making these instruments got even better it's starting to look almost photorealistic by now which in this case is probably not a good thing and it says beautiful ball sack guitar only three thousand five hundred dollars and as it says in the description absolutely gorgeous a classy guitar that will open many doors for you uh, I don't know what kind of doors this guitar will open for you. I think some doors are better kept closed. So yeah, if you want this guitar, make sure to grab it. I'm not getting it. It's all yours. If you had fun with this video, make sure to leave a like. And also don't forget to subscribe to join our awesome guitar community here on YouTube today. Subscribers on this channel are down lately and it's getting ridiculous. Around 80% of you guys and girls watching these videos are not subscribed. So let's keep growing this community today in the name of the unholy Wankaster. And I will see you again in the next video at the end of this week. Have an awesome day until then. See you soon. Bye bye.